National Night Out is a time that we highlight what happens all year and that partnership between the community and the police department is really highlighted on National Night Out in that we go from community to community and show our appreciation. We give educational and, and safety tips and we just generally have a good time with our community. That partnership started with a briefing inside the auditorium at Trent Court Housing Authority Complex. I want to thank everybody starting with the New Bern Police Department. Thank you guys for supporting this. New Bern Fire Rescue, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, Target, the Blue Knights, and 14 communities participated in National Night Out this year. Officer Wester, Hick, Chevalier. And after the assignments were made, we headed out back for a neighborhood cookout, a performance by Glory to Glory, time to stay and play some ball with the neighborhood's best, Air ball. And pretty soon, we're headed down the street to visit New Bern Towers. This is uh, the New Bern Towers second year doing National Night Out. I want to thank each and every one of you who is um, contributing into this uh, event. McGruff was there to spread his anti-crime message. Residents mingled with the police department, and the DJ got things started. Can't have a party without popcorn. Popcorn and pencils from Major Jason Wintermute from Cherry Point. Pretty soon, we're off to Colony Estates. Uh, it's raining. But that won't stop us as we head down Highway 70 West to Glen Burnie Road. Well, it's an opportunity just to, on a one-on-one -on -one to talk with the police, the policemen, and particularly the ones in your area. Get to know them, get a, get comfortable with them. If you if you see a problem, to feel a comfort level, of being able to call down and and tell our staff what's going on and what a problem might be. Colony Estates kicked it up a notch on this national night out with State Employees Credit Union and Craven Smart Start, teaching families the fundamentals about strong, safe communities. We think National Night Out is really important. We know how important it is for young children to get off to a good start. And we know that it's important to have that kind of relationship within our communities. That we know how important the uh, law enforcement folks are. While ladies and gents tend to the grills, neighbors get to know each other and the police department. The motorcade starts the engines, and we're on our way to Carolina Colors. Baron de Colors stands tall here, and inside, it's time for the kids to come out and play. Carolina Colors hosted a buffet of sweets and good eats, and entertained with a magic show. National Night Out is supposed to be um, for us to get acquainted with each other, but that's not really the case in, uh, in Carolina Colors. Everybody knows everyone, but what we do here is, is to celebrate the police. Uh, we have uh, gotten a really nice uh, coordination with them. It wasn't long after the food and fun, we heard the magic words. Magic! When they see the line of police cars, fire trucks, motorcycles uh, coming to the neighborhood and the lights are flashing, and that gets them out their house and they come and they meet the neighbors. And I, I can't count how many times that I've heard the neighbors say, well, I never met you, I'm so-and-so, and that's what it's all about getting to know your neighbors. You could hear us coming for miles over to King's Row. Police and fire strolled up to a community celebration here in the Knights Court cul-de-sac. And you couldn't help but dance while you filled your plate. They even had a national night out cake. And what better way to work off that cake on a warm summer night than to go fishing, enjoy a playful game of cornhole, but that's not enough, says DJ Clay Kirshner. It's time for the Cupid Shuffle. Everybody join in. Anybody in the community that knows how to do it, let's all do it together in the middle of the street. Let's do it. Come on, more officers, join in. Come on, officers, join in. And I say no They say what you doing Trying to do somebody go I just let the music Come from my soul So all of my people can stay home After a belly full of food And a trip around the dance floor We're off to Old Town National Night Out in NNO was front and center in this neighborhood Set up right on Country Club Road 
Chief and the other officers spoke to the crowd, and it's time to take off down Highway 70 East for Taberna. Tents mark the spot right outside the clubhouse here, where neighbors came by the wagon full to check out the hardware and climb aboard the city's newest fire truck. Hot dog, hot dog, we're just about out too. After calorie consumption, we met one of the cutest National Night Out fans and spoke to residents about the importance of a neighborhood watch program to promote safety on the streets. Police department, fire department did a great job in putting this thing together and uh, we look forward to uh, having it again next year. And then it was time to suit up for the ride to Evans Mills. Knowing that the police officers are here and getting to know them better helps your community to be more aware of what's going on in their neighborhood and get involved with their police officers. Rain kept this crowd mostly undercover, but the fellowship and the new friendships here helped lighten spirits and keep things fun. And when the sun came out again, it was time to sail on to Selhorn Heights. The school supplies from Target didn't last long here, as officers made their way into a crowd that likes food and fun, while keeping community safety in mind. Safety is a big thing. We have a lot of kids in this neighborhood and a lot of folks that are just want to be in a good, safe community. A National Night Out helps get that message out. And you can also interact with the police. You can ask them questions. You can do all this other kinds of stuff. And it's just really cool. As the rain poured, we passed more neighborhoods, sounding our sirens and flashing our lights. It's all in support of a partnership between community and police to keep our neighborhoods safe. It makes me feel uh, proud that I have a community that supports their police department. It makes me feel proud that I have a community that understands their role in keeping themselves safe. And they understand that the police can't do it alone, but with their support, we can have a very safe community.